Hello everybody, Sift here again with another bio prototype run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with Hunk Limbs have a 100% crit hit chance, so we're gonna go with limbs, 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 limbs. Today we're gonna do a unique run, but that we didn't haven't done yet. So uh, minus three percent organ based damage. I mean, if they double damage on crits, then who cares? We're gonna go with cold difficulty three because I still hate the fact that we become weaker with overload. And into this we shall go. I'm gonna do that as if it's like a, how can you say it? As if it's like a statement. Okay, it's it's a statement that uh, you know because you can achieve the same things with buffing opponents. I was thinking about this. Like they could make difficulty four. Just say whenever, you know, when this overload happens, actually something like enemies evolve alongside you. And then, you know, every time you got those kills going, uh, not the kills, the, the power streak uh, going up. First of all, we're going to go with Raptor here. Activate the right side on crits because we have a guaranteed crit chance. And for now, we're going to go with a dragon, I would say. I do enjoy the mutant, but mm, cannot move or get damaged. I, I would like somebody to explain to me what the plan of the mutant is, like why would you use mutant? I guess the idea is that it has a higher fertility so it's easier to actually spawn. But why would I go with mutant if I couldn't go with imps? Let's go with the dragon anyway. So we're gonna go with when the slash crits, which is by the way harvesting guaranteed. So every time you slash something we throw out a dragon. And um, yeah, let's continue. As I was saying, like imagine if difficulty 4 was every time you become too powerful, opponents evolve alongside you and also uh, become powered up uh yeah yeah right instead of you you know it's pretty much the same thing right it's the same thing saying that oh opponents do double damage or you take double damage uh or maybe you know opponents move 50 percent faster or you move 50 percent slower uh, but it's like a difference in power i don't know maybe, maybe it's just schematics but in my opinion it just feels better opponents getting buffed while the difficulty goes up and you always stay the same anyway uh let's go with a white fox that uses limbs uh offspring i mean this is never gonna activate so let's go with this for sure a higher act activation rate by the bit less damage. I don't care about this. Let's get the higher activation rate. And Fondor Boxer. So hit things a hit, things a hit. Uh, which also connects with limbs. I mean, we are a limb build after all. I haven't found a limb yet. So that's pretty bad. Activation 1 and 120. 0 0.9 and 115. Which is just a smidge less. But I would say let's go with a 10% increase in our attack speed. And let's continue with the run. I don't think we need anything here. Wait a minute. 350 years. I don't remember when it was true. Oh, crit chance? This is useless, by the way. We're not gonna go crit chance. We're not gonna go crit chance, and for now, I don't even need movement speed. So the idea today is I'm gonna try to get limbs into limbs into limbs into limbs. I would like to create, like, a crazy chain reaction. And, of course, we need to increase the difficulty, uh, the, the rarity of items found here. So that we slowly start finding those uh, on-hit effects that trigger two things at a time. And we're gonna combine those with even more on-crit effects that combine more into more into more into more, right? We want to have like a chain reactions of limbs just slamming and slamming into slams. And everything should be used with the on-crit effect. As the on-crit effect has like an efficiency of 100 plus. So that means it's gonna be doing more damage than what it would have been doing otherwise, right? Because the boxer is, um, you know, crit chance less minus. Uh, is this a link by the way? This is a tentacle. This is a very slow attacking one. I don't really need this. I guess I'm gonna take this as I don't want to reroll yet. And for now, I guess we're gonna get this limb and hope for the best. I mean, I see the mutant that I could get and sell. So would I like to sell or would I like to get our skeleton? I would say let's get our skeleton. And we also got this really, really, which only connects with intestine, which is very sad to say the least. All right, so we're gonna, ah, I guess we're gonna get this really, really just so that we have it. So theoretically, we throw this away. We go here. This doesn't connect to nerves. This doesn't connect to nerves, I'm sure. Yep, nothing connects the nerves. Intestine and cochlea. I mean, I could also... Ooh, this does not... Ooh, this only used tentacles. This is pretty mediocre. But this uses limbs, so I could do this into this. So it's like a double limb attack. Whoever gets hit also hits something else. Nah, I wouldn't say it's really good. I guess this really, really would be the best choice, as most of the time it is. Uh, actually, dragon, because it goes around us. Let's go into organ quality. And yeah, quality, it's here. Feels a bit weird as if it's the as if the menu changed. The idea is I want to do chain reactions, man. I want to get as many chain reactions going as possible. Right? That that's my plan at least. I and mean, I just got hit for no reason because I thought I'm so powerful that those opponents would have just been one shot. But I guess I was wrong about that. I do enjoy this slash effect that we have going on here. Oh, an elite. Will we be able to do enough damage to the elite to get it? Or will we prove ourselves as unworthy? Oh, and we actually are powerful enough. We are pretty decent-ish here. I want to get some hammer slammers. I mean, there aren't really that many limbs in this game. I think it's it's the slash, it's the hammer slammer, and then the last but not least is the explosion. Uh, unless I'm wrong about that. Uh, about the explosion, of course. The rest, I don't really think I'm wrong about. The hammer slammer and the sword here definitely is. So uh, let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope we're gonna get another limb here. Please give me something. Raven for money, I guess, is what we're gonna go with because these trees are trash. 
and calculate for also money when expects of expire. <laughs> wow, this is of course really really bad. When the organ Oh, this changed. This uh, retina did not read this. Activate the right side organ when the left side organ contributes to a kill. That's a lot better. Now it works with more things, right? Right. Like, yeah. Now, now it even works with this because this can connect to retina. Nice. This did not used to be a thing. So when this slashes, it actually throws out something. And then what is this? Activate the right side organ while the effects of this organ expire. Yeah. And this has a three-second activation. So we're gonna go cochlea here. Limb and tentacle again. I guess we could go for this really, really, which only connects to that. Which is pretty sad, but we can't really... So when the Slash gets a kill, throws out a dragon, and then when the dragon ends, it just shoots out this really, really. That is what we're doing right now. Can I see this in action? So, oh no, I cannot see the Slash, of course. Why would I do this on kill, then? I could do it on crit, you know, just straight up better. Straight up more often. Why on crit? Yeah, why not hit? And I want to see this really, really fly out after that expires. Nice, it is exactly how I want it to be. So off we go. Uh, so we didn't sell those things that I thought are actually for sale. Theoretically, I should also keep this. When it says contributes to kill, I could easily do another chain reaction into another thing here if this wasn't intestine. Um, I would say let's throw these away. I don't really want enders to have slashes. I don't really need open-ended things. And here we go with the 300. Could I put this somewhere? Not really. Can I put this somewhere, though? And then, like, could I do a swap? Actually, what am I even talking about? These things do not have uh, spines as choices. That's how you actually connect things. Sorry, I was uh, I, I forgot there. Let's continue. I forgot the basics, man. I forgot the basics. Let's go with slashing. Whoa, we do a lot of damage. Most of the time, we don't do that much damage to things. Or at least not in this extreme speed rate here. Most of the time, we definitely do less. I do enjoy what we have going on. I do want this, like, chain reaction effects going. For once, I don't want to always go with those bullfrogs and everything else. I mean, we have so many really weird here. A bullfrog is a must, as always is. Uh, but, um, you know, I would like to have the limbs that chain react into limbs that chain react into limbs. That's what I'm trying to get here going on. So we need some hammer slammers and hopefully also some explosions. As explosions are very easy to combo into on hit and on crits effects. As those, um, yeah, as those most of the time uh, have a pretty sizable... Yeah, explosion size, I guess, and hit a bunch of things at the same time easily. Well, the slash, for example, here I have to be pretty much melee, and the really words and the dragon, I have to be semi melee, right? So uh, let's keep that all in mind. I'm trying to be as close to these as possible. Ah, no, I lost the cockley. Yeah, but at least we got the 3D coin. We got that, and we got an ant. This is really powerful if we combo some things into this. We could go like a on death, throws out. Oh, this connects to spines, heart, cochlea, lung, and intestine. I mean, it connects to cochlea, so cochlea definitely is a thing, right? Which we have. And it says, left side organ expire. So when the ants expire, which they last for seconds, I guess, they do something. Hmm. I could just go for this. I don't th I'm thinking I'm going to go with the ant. The ants are pretty powerful. This, uh, I don't care about the wings, to be honest. Upon the bullfrog, do I want it? I don't know. Uh, this root isn't really activatable. These two are activatable, like limbs and whatnot. But the roots, definitely not. With 500 power, definitely not. I guess we're gonna go with the bullfrog. This is only wings. Now, nah, let's get the mammoth for the money then. Chimpanzee. I'm gonna say let's roll for 10. You know, rolling once in a while. This is a tentacle, which is not what I want. Let's roll one more time for 10. Of the wolf. When damage is taken and then activates three things that aren't really that good. I guess normal. I could have a normal around us. Yeah, let's get the normal. And then we're gonna just get a buff at some point. You can't really connect anything here. What can I connect here? Cochlea. Nice. So we're gonna go here. And then the cochlea says, wait a minute, this is also, also cochlea. Dang it. Wait a minute. Shouldn't these be like here? Oh, they, they made it easier to do. Can I see this in a moment? Like if I slash. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Like whenever the starfish misses, we get like an infinite amount of um of yeah, I love it. I love it. So whenever the starfish only when it misses because this expires, I guess it should spawn a dragon. Where's really really to be honest? I do enjoy this really, really a bit more. Can I see this really, really in action? Ah, no, 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 no. The dragon is definitely better because it floats out around us. Uh, I need the second brain to connect something here, but we're still missing them. I would also like to get the ants going. You know what? Let's actually just invest into one brain and into one of these. Now, of course, this should not really do anything, right? Because, I mean, this can connect to the ant. Wait, didn't I have something that spawns? 120 power. I was so stupid. For some reason, I thought, oh no, the ants are easy to spawn. Nice, 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 nice. So we spawn an ant. One ant, they stack up to 10. And then these say, eggs get destroyed instantly when contacting an enemy. So there are like mini mines. And then we could be like, while they're alive, they do something. Right now, we don't have the thing. So yeah, we're still missing a couple of things here. But we could make the ants that last for four seconds. 
No, the Norvald's definitely gonna get used somewhere else. But we can definitely make them every 2.62 seconds shoot out something. So we could have like a machine gun re-effect going on. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's actually go into this. Where is this really, really showing? Wait a minute. Can I use this really, really here? Yeah, why, why would I use this stupid thing that doesn't do anything? <laughs> like, I, 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 sometimes I just don't know, man. Let's just have us really, really flying out and at least it will damage, right? Like, at least we will have something that attacks instead of having the ants that don't literally do anything because I could not connect them with anything. So once again, on crits, we throw out a bunch of starfish and then that's those starfish shoot out five projectiles and each one of those projectiles that expires, I guess it seems like expires also means hits an opponent. I thought it was only not hits an opponent. But yeah, I guess this seems to be a smidge better than what I thought it was. So that's actually really, really good. Now, I haven't found the hammer slammer yet. I found another is really, really there. Let's hope it's going to be really, really with... Um, not wings. <laughs> with, um, I guess, lungs. Although, honestly, I wouldn't like to repeat the same build again and again. But, I mean, if, if, if it's given to me, if it's given to me, I will accept it. I will accept a, a win, right? We're not going to sandbag here. I have never sandbagged. I don't want to sandbag. I am trying to get a limb build going. And, I mean, we have four brains at the end of the day anyway. So, we can create more than one brain. I can create the brain that's going to give us a win. And then I'm going to create the brain that actually, you know, gives us a bit of something unique, new thing, I guess, going on. So, that would be all these um, slammers and whatnot. Oh, no, I got hit. I mean, I'm kidding. We're doing very decent damage, to be honest. There's a pretty decent build here with only combo pieces. It connects intestine. Once again, disappointing. Raptor, one crits. Poison bag or tentacle. I mean, tentacle again. Slime with a uh, poison bag or wings or belly. You know what? I would also enjoy having like a slime build going on, like with things on the ground. The imps are here. This is always busted. I see the boxer, but not with only poison bag. I'm sorry, but no. What does what does bag of throwing with lungs mean? I guess whoever is affected gets... In the lung effect. Actually, now that I think about it, I theoretically want this because I do already have lungs. Langs. I'm gonna go with the offering of the imp though, because if I can get this rolling, I'm gonna definitely combo piece into madness. But the main thing I want is to hit these so I get the crit, so I get the effects going. Do I actually want that? I think I want to go with this. Yeah, I think I want to go with this. Combines with lung, retina, and spine. Those are good combinations we got going on there. So uh, we're gonna go with. You go here, the narwhal, and then you go here, and then here you can go with when this contributes to a kill. Contributes, right? Contributes. Not is the main thing that killed them. Uh, throw out a really really, right? Because this does more damage to 1,000. The alternative, you know, would be to every one second throw out this really really. <laughs> as long as opponents are debuffed, right? Because the debuff applies to opponents. But also maybe do... This just combines with intestine. Oh, I have an intestine. <laughs> Whoopsie. But I don't have anything to put on the ground. I guess I have the poison. So... Yeah, the intestine with the poison is going to be a bit better. Change of plans. We're going to go with attack speed. This really, really, the good damaging one. Which is going to have an intestine. And those intestines are going to throw these on the ground. And then when these contribute to a kill, then throw out this really, really. Actually, while opponents are poisoned... Nope, that's not a thing. So when these contribute to a kill, then throw out another really, really. Nice, we got a thing going on here. Let's go with organ quality. And I would say the time has come to invest into, I would say, movement speed. Like, uh, one more hit taken is a bit better than just being a bit faster on avoiding. And here they go, this really, really is with the poison on the ground. And let's not forget that when those things contribute to kills, we throw out even more swirly whirlies. So whoever just presses on the poison puddle, instantly swirly whirly because they are affected by it. So therefore, they got, um, you know, hit by the poison. Therefore, the poison contributes damage. Therefore, swirly whirly throws out. I would like to get a better thing going on here. Uh, I do enjoy what we have, actually. I just want to get some hammer slammers. Just want to be like a boom, boom, boom. I also want to get a couple more on crits activate. Now, of course, I, I know that we have found a couple of on crits activate, but they didn't really wear limbs. I want to get, I want to find nerves that connect to limbs specifically so that I can do a limb chain reaction. Like my idea is I, I slash the opponent once and then those opponents hammer slammer and those, those hammer slammers throw out even more hammer slammers. Something like that. I'm not even sure if you guys understand what I mean with hammer slammers, but if I find the skill, I'm going to take it, and then we're going to see where we go from there, right? I do enjoy what we have going on, though, with the uh, infinite, like, the dragons all over the place, and the poisonous whirly whirlies here that leave the intestine of poison on the ground. I just enjoy everything here. Very, very simplistic run. Very nice and chill vibes, or at least, you know, it, it is to me. Now, of course, I don't think this build can even remotely beat a boss right now. I don't think we have enough damage here to actually be busted. We found an uh, offspring generator. Nice. We found a legendary chimpanzee, which uh, I would say I would like this. It has limbs, it has tentacles, it has offsprings. Offsprings might even work. 
box here, not really. I think we're gonna go here with a chimpanzee. And living dead, this is, of course, one of the most busted things in the game, so we're gonna take it. And we found an imp. I mean, as I said, as I said, if the game gives me something... Oh, we found a spine of Swirly Whirly. This is always good. Like, we can have a spine uh, that flips around and just hammer slammers or just shoots even more projectiles out. Honestly, I would like to get the imp here for some money. And uh, I'm never gonna say no to something completely and utterly busted. So, uh, what does this throw out? Tentacles and limbs. Oh yeah, this is good. So, we're gonna go here. Can you connect to an imp? Please tell me yes and we won. Nope, 0 0.9. You cannot connect to an imp, but you can connect to this, right? So, every 1.5 seconds, we spawn like almost a couple of ants. And when these ants die, they spawn imps. Yay! And I'm oh, they actually... That, that works! This works! Wait, what? I was not aware that this, this had any chance of working. Okay... Well, guess what? Then I just need an on death here again, right? If I get another living dead here, then the chain reaction is gonna happen. Right? Wait a minute. While these are alive, I could, like, connect them with the bladder. Like, I can take this out and the rest... Oh, we lost the rest too. So we're gonna go with bladder, right? So while these are alive, I throw out a bladder, which poisons the ground. And when something dies from that, it's really, really... Can I see this in action? So once in a while I should be getting like these, yep, exactly. And then at some point, these things are gonna die. Right here, we've got the other spawns. And then when these spawns die... I mean, they are putting things on the ground, right? It, it does, like, slowly work. And then when opponents get poisoned... Ah... Uh, feels very weak. I think we're gonna just go... You know, yeah, I think we're gonna just go with what we had. So we throw out really where these... And sets really where these have poison on the ground and the poison puddle when it contributes to a death. Right? When it contributes to a kill, it throws out another surely. <laughs> Imagine if this would work somehow. It throws out another surely really. We don't need this. Right? At least we don't need it right now. Right? So um yeah, I guess we're gonna take it back. But we got something going. We got something going. Can I connect here anything? What do you connect to? Cochlea. Okay, I guess let's continue. Let's go with organ quality. Now that I have 200 coins, we're gonna go with one movement speed, I would say. And then one crit damage. Crit damage is a thing? Since when? And effect radius. Wow, we're getting new things here that get upgraded. I love it. I love it. Did anything else get nerfed? Yeah, this used to be 15%, now it's 10%. Uh, actually, that might be wrong. 20% to crit hit damage, multiple upper level. Crit damage is 150 started right away. Okay, we're gonna go with damage then. <laughs> I should actually go with organ drop chance. Whoopsie! And crit chance is definitely useless as I'm trying to get as many hammer slammers and stuff as possible. Although, I mean, theoretically it's not useless because I haven't gotten all those hammer slammers and whatever I want to do. But that doesn't matter. For now we're just gonna continue what we have going. But we're very close to getting something completely naturally busted. Uh, of course, the one thing we want is um, on death again. Right? We want another on death effect so we can chain react the one into the other into the other. I'm talking of course of the ants that create imps. Although, honestly, if I find ants, it's gonna be better. Like, ants creating ants, that's definitely better than ants creating imps. I, at least that's what I think. Because if, if like, the ants create one imp, then they definitely create, like, four ants at a time. So it's gonna be, like, chain reaction city. And then, I guess, on death, I could be, I do something like... I don't know, so really, are these? I really don't know. We're gonna see what we're gonna do with those things. Chain reacting into each other. So, man, this game is so awesome. I mean, they really, really, they, they they seem to be patching this every day and they slowly add more and more and more things. They also, they just changed how the retina works. So that's already crazy, right? Now it's on contribute instead of on specifically kill. And they also added crit damage as one of the upgrades you can get. I love it, man. And I really think they, the only thing they are missing right now other than the fact that, of course, you know, new things, new connections, not what and whatnot else. I think the only main thing they should change right now is to make difficulty 4 increase the power of opponents instead of nerfing you. I mean, as I said, it's just, you know, it's pretty much the same thing as how it is, with the difference being, as I said, that I prefer opponents getting more powerful than me getting nerfed. What is this? On death, on enemy death, at 59, it spawns an offspring, or root, or wings, or tentacle. I do enjoy this. This is very powerful. And 59 death is an easy number to get. And also that's money. Monolith, that's the slow version of the poison. And I found the hammer slammer, but this is unconnected to anything. So I'm very disappointed to this. Let's get the monolith. Let's see if we can create something better. We didn't really get something here that's supposedly better. But uh, let's see. I could connect this really, really to another intestine, right? So on death, throw out another intestine. This, this has like a three second cooldown. So this is literally impossible to use. Yeah, this lasts three seconds. This says a three-second frequency, so that's not a thing. And I can't even activate it, so 
That's out the window. Can you connect to a co cochlea only? Can you connect something else? Also only cochlea. That's not good. That is not good. We are missing some pieces here. We are missing some important pieces. What can you even do? Only the undeath chain effect. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess instead of every 1.50, I could be like, nah, why would I even do that? That's very stupid. I got a boxer here, but we can't really use it in any capacity. Yeah, right now the build isn't going really anywhere. Let's go with drop rates. 58 cells. Uh, I guess nothing really. Crit chance is not something I want to invest into, so let's go into the next run. Have I invested into movement speed even once? I think wave 9 is a boss wave, and if that's the case, we might actually lose here. This might be the, the wave we actually die. If not, then if not. If not, then I really hope that I'm going to be powerful enough at the next wave. Ooh, nice. We got something here. Let's hope this is actually not a boss wave, because I think we're not going to survive this. Uh, but as I said... If, if this is not a boss wave, then theoretically after this one, we should be pretty powerful. As this wave should drop. Yeah, we already got our intestine. Like, we start getting drops. I just need, like, a good belly or, like, a good toxic something. And then, um, and then I guess we're gonna just create another brain. And then we can definitely... Whoa! We got something crazy good. We got a legendary limb. And limbs is what we chase. And we got, like, the explosion. Now I just need this to have, like, a good connection. Oh, we got another yellow one. Nice. I just need those things to have good connections. As long as those things have good connections, we should be good to go. Especially the limb one. Especially the limb one, as that's like a guaranteed crit. And I just need to get like another raptor. You know, on crit effect happens. Let's uh, let's loop that elite through the <laughs> through the poison puddles. Let's go around picking those up. I just need like a good belly or or something else that would be really good. I guess a dragon that could connect to lungs would be nice. And we found a bullfrog, so there's that there's that crazy thing that we just picked up. I guess, once again, I want to get what I want to get, the limbs, but if bullfrog is presented to me alongside like a good belly, I'm not gonna shy away from it. Nah, didn't pick it up. I mean, through the quinces, it is what it is. And we also got an armor fruit, which could be proven crazy. Connects with retina. Retina is when it contributes to death. I like it. And uh, yeah, and we also got the bullfrog with poison bag only. Very disappointing. Found our boxer here. I mean, between those things, I guess a boxer with a limb connection is good. Slimy. Uh, I mean, between those connections, this is unconnectable and this is a puffer. Who cares? So we're gonna go here. Slimy with belly, poison bags, classics. Armor fruit, legendary 19. You know what? I think I'm gonna take this. I think I'm gonna take this. It even connects to lungs. And it has an 8 second duration. I'm gonna take this and hope for the best. I mean, I see this 500 power. Can I wait for a moment? What is this? It does connect to roots. Nice. So every 60 kills, I can get normal fruit. That's nice. Jackal, the quick one, or the chimpanzee. So first of all, I want to see how much power does this have. 331, and this has 338. So this is straight up better as it actually activates offsprings like I want. I don't care about mummy, to be honest. I already have this. At 62, activates offspring with 620 something power. Get an offspring. Nah, I think well, this is better. Although this could be better with... What do we have going on here? Nope, this uh, this is not a tentacle. So this is not most likely not a good idea. Most likely not a good idea. This is a tentacle, but this literally doesn't connect. That's useless. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a chimpanzee a little bit better than the one I have. So first of all, 1.54. And as we... Wait. What? Oh, this doesn't connect to... Lim Whoopsie. I mean, it's better for spawning things, though. Well, first of all, my plan right now is we're gonna say every 59 deaths... Forget this part... Every 59 deaths, we get like a super fruit. <laughs> nice, we get a fruit that has an 8 second duration. And while that fruit lasts, it's gonna be spawning, right? One of these. It's gonna be spawning after 2 seconds, after 1 second. After, do I have the big one? Do I have the monolith? Yeah, after 3 seconds, 3.3. So let's be like it be a slow super poison puddle. And then whoever is affected by that super poison puddle, if it if they die, they explode. Now we're gonna use the explosion on something else. My crazy build. So we're gonna go uh, the triple shoot. I guess really, really. And then the wireless really, really is in the air. We're gonna go with a quick version. Nothing because I don't have anything to connect here. So over here, I'm gonna say this only connects to cochlea. Are you like serious? Once again, only to cochlea. Hmm. I mean, I could have this earlier. This is explosion around us, and this is a limb, as we said. This only connects to retina. Retina is something that we have over here now so i would like this to be somewhere else yeah forget this part so while they're poisoned i'm gonna say while they're poisoned every my fastest one which is this every almost always the shootout is really really and the rest is still the same the poison here is useless like this whole part is useless we could do this for example it shoots out this really really in the machine gun 
And uh, then also this thing when it triggers, might as well throw another fruit that doesn't do anything. Nice, right? So we're gonna every every 60 kills, every eight, yeah, every 60 kills we get two fruits. The one of them is like with poison puddles and whatnot. The other is not. Nice. And then over here, I would say, can I somehow connect a limb with these? Like, please. I guess I could put it here. So the starfish, when it expires, they all the sides explode. And then if that thing contributes to a kill, then it throws out a dragon. Can I see this for a moment? Oh, oh, oh no. The starfish actually happen on contact. Ooh, yeah. So when these explosions contribute to a kill, then a bunch of dragons will start appearing. I love it. I could have the explosion in the beginning and then the swords around, but I think this way it's better. Just we slash something, things fly out, they all explode, and then they um, they they spawn dragons. And the other side is just this, this huge mess of a thing which is going to be busted. Let's go with uh, these because we have money. Now we have 127. I would say I want health and some other things. So I'm going to start selling those gray items uh, or this one with limb. No, this actually connects with a limb. This also connects with limbs. Man, I'm missing limbs. <laughs> that was something very bad that I said right here. I mean, um, you know what? Let's drop that discussion completely for now. We're going to not... I could spawn with offsprings with this. I would like to throw away this really, really, but I can't add 200 power. I'm going to say let's go with base damage, 100%, and then movement speed or something. No, that means no, that's in 200. Okay, let's just go with base damage and also and also sell some things. Let's sell the Nawal and let's also sell one of these two. I guess we're going to sell the weaker one, so let's sell this. And we need to sell something else. Let's also sell this. And I go with now a more damage. I said damage, but I actually meant movement speed, so I can avoid things. Let's go. And this should be a boss fight. But theoretically, after we get... Here we go. You see, we got the dragons. So theoretically, we got a hammer slammer. So hopefully that's going to be what I wanted to be. So right now, the hope is that we are, we, are, we are going to see some... Exactly, some shield fruits. One of these two. I guess it's the other one. <laughs> Did I just lose that? No, I think I picked it up. So whenever I spawn these shieldy boys, one of them is going to be poison laced. Look at this. Boom. That's the poison laced one, right? So I pick that up, and then we also go and pick the other one up. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes we don't. I mean, at least I can very easily see the poison laid, right? And I have to say, it's it's okay. It's okay. We got like two, three shields every time we pick this up, and we got a boss. But look at this. We have so much life. Good thing I went with movement speed, by the way. You see? There was a reason for that. I'm still a bit against how small this area becomes at the end of this. Like, it's a bit too much, in my opinion. Come on, lace the poison, please. Lace the poison. Ah, I guess. Ah, nice. I did lace the poison in time. And of course, what I care about more than the poison is the fact that we get the shield itself. So there's that. Can I actually go through the lasers? I still have not tried a single time to go through the lasers. I'm just such a chicken on these things. Like, I have got burned too many times with games having insta-kill mechanics. That is just no longer even want to attempt to go even remotely close to something that even resembles an insta-kill mechanic. I would like to go over there. You know what? Chicken time is over. <gasps> no, I cannot even go through it. <laughs> Very sad time, to be honest. Yeah, I would like to go through it now. It's just a box. Okay, my whole fear about that is gone now. It really is. I'm always nice. This connects nerves. This connects nerves. Nice. And a chain reactions incoming. We're gonna go with insta kill on the ground. Or do what I like to go a limb. Another limb chain reaction. Um, I would like to get another limb chain reaction, to be honest. Not Schrodinger. Who cares about Schrodinger? Or I could go with an offspring here. Generator. And gland. I mean, the offspring part could fit nowhere, actually, because I want this crazy thing. Let's get the raven. And now a germ rat with a nerve. Yes, I saw I saw the box in the middle. I saw I didn't say it in time. Whatever. Let's go with the puffer, I guess. I guess puffer. Uh, you know what? And now instead of having intestine here, it would go puffer, right? Like the shield gets a puffer effect. Now, actually, the thing on the ground is better. Anyway, the time has come into chain reaction effects. We're going to go. We still slash. I'm still slashing, and when that crits, we starf... <sighs> now, the, I just realized what the, what the problem lies. The problem lies in the fact that... Oh, this connects to limbs. Okay, we're gonna go limbs. We're gonna go explosion. Pick these up, please. And then... So we slash something, they explode. And then when that explosion hits, right? No, I guess machine gunnery. And then if that contributes to a kill, actually when it expires, explosion again... So that's the same, right? Oh no, that is not the same. 
So uh, the first thing slashes, and then when the slash hit, it explodes. And then those all those explosions when they hit, because like a slash one thing, that thing explodes, and then those explosions shoot out, whatever I slash shoots out machine gunnery, and then all of those also chain reacting to explosions if they get a kill. Actually, when they expire, even better. Is this more damage? Yeah, this is more damage. So this final thing is what does the damage. I could put a hammer slammer there. I need more of these into, not tentacles, but uh, starfish. That is the plan right now. I can't even connect anything here. Anyway, uh, the rest is the same, so I would say let's get our brain. Let's go over to new brain. Uh, here I would say, I guess I get a puffer effect going on. With wings, wow, perfect build. Uh, let's go with a crazy attack speed with... I spawn these, can I even spawn them with this? Not really. I guess uh, I could connect this with something else, right? Didn't I have something here that previously was actually able to spawn these? No, I was able to spawn these with 2.83. And then I could say that when these die, right? Yeah, that was when these die, they throw out an imp, which works this deep. And then this imp just has a permanent bullfrog effect of wings. Wow, completely useless. Uh, throws things on the ground that wings. Are you serious right now? I guess I don't really have anything else. While it's alive, actually not that one, pretty that often. Hmm. Most of these are not good builds. <laughs> if this, can I even have a hammer slammer built here going on? I don't think so. Like, I could like put this there, tentacle and limbs, and then it's really, really, and this really, really leaves on the ground nothing. I guess wings, right? 7% damage wings. But why would I do that? Like, this is just very mediocre. And then this also attacks and does nothing. So, um, I guess the only thing I would actually like to do, seriously speaking, it's we're going to be spawning ants every two seconds, every, every 1.54. And then when those ants die, they explode. And not only that, but they also, when they, left side, yeah, while the effects of the list are going to expire, activate the right side of the ground. Yeah, and, and when, the, when, the, when the ants expire, they also uh, release this really, really... That leaves on the ground. Nothing, to be honest. We already know that this really, really is not going to leave anything on the ground. So, um, <laughs> I guess, uh, wings. Because nothing else can connect. Okay, so we're leaving some ants on the ground that explode, I guess. So, <clears throat> so for that, tough. Let's go with, uh, I guess, damage, to be honest. And let's go. Hopefully, this is going to work. Right? So, those things, when they expire, they're going to just explode. And of course, my chain reaction is happening here. Yeah, they just explode. That's it. <laughs> they don't do anything, really. And sometimes they also throw out some really, really... I don't know, man. The ant thing... Whoa, did you see the explosion around? Forget the ants, okay? Forget the ants. Look at this madness. Whoa, we got a puffer. Nice. I would like to get now a debuff to connect to the puffer. He says, while actually not picking up Schrodinger while he had the choice. I'm sorry, guys. I made some mistakes here and there. Yeah, I'm gonna get some kind of buff here going on. I guess I could go with the buff itself. The damage buff. Right, that, that's just simple, the wings. I'm going to have better wings, of course. I want to get more limbs, man. I want to get more limbs into this whole madness. I need to get uh, either Boxer or preferably a Raptor that says that it shoots out limbs on hit, on crit. Like, on crit connects to a limb. I need the limbs to shoot out limbs to shoot out limbs. And more specifically, I, I the, the more important thing to get is uh, raptors that have two connections on the right side or three if it exists but i don't think it exists like i need to get a raptor that says the right side has triple connections so uh double connections so that i have something that when i slash they explode and they do something else and when those things hit then they also do even more stuff like some kind of crazy chain reaction event going on of course this uh, shieldy boy thing that we're getting every 60 kills is insanely powerful the fact that we're getting all these Wow, wow, that looks so awesome, man, the starfish. Okay, we got a puffer, a good one, and then we also got a monolith. Let's actually try to find something good here. This is a reroll, man. Lang of the Narwhal. I guess this is money. This connects to Cochlea. I guess this is what we already have. Imp, connect imps between them. Mm, not really. I got giant bat wings with a million things. We're gonna take this. This is just stats. Can I please take this? Thank you. Hornet. This is once again a tentacle. Another raven with limbs. But continues to kill. You know what? We're gonna take this. We can, we can make these better. You know, because right now, for example, we have this with a tentacle. I could say... No, this doesn't connect to a car. <laughs> no, my mind is always forgetting that this is a retina. I forget that this is a retina, man. I'm just forgetting that this is a retina and that's what's the issue here. You know what I could actually do? This connects to a poison bag. I could put the poison bag here. Actually, not not, not, not here. Like, this, this only connects nerves. 
Mm, yeah, I could switch these two around. No, this only throws out tentacles. Well, you see, there are million issues here. When the organ, this is a cochlea, and all the starfish connects to a cochlea. Do, do, do limbs ever connect to cochlea? Like, retina. And retina is the, this thing. Yeah, this is a retina. Oh, I couldn't connect them here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we're gonna go... Man, am I blind? Let's go back here. So we're gonna say this thing, when it contributes to a kill, right? So this slashes, and then this explodes. And if this thing contributes to a kill with... 3d9 power no this only connects tentacles no this is never gonna contribute to a kill i mean contribute no contribute is easily done so when that thing contributes to a kill it's gonna spawn a limb which is gonna explode uh, and it's also guess what gonna spawn another limb which is also gonna hammer slammer nice uh, can i test this i mean it's not gonna be visible oh it instantly happened how does this oh the explosion needs to contribute to a kill i mean it will definitely so we're gonna trust the system don't, don't believe that. Uh, let's go with... What do I have here? I guess we have a buff. That's for certain. So we're going to go with 228. Now we're going to go with every 253 seconds. We're going to have a 300 efficiency buff. Can I do a better one here? But I have a... What is this, by the way? Those were the spawns. I didn't enjoy the spawns. So uh, let's say... What's my most powerful version here? I guess this is... This is 300. This is 220. This is 300. Yeah, but this isn't what I need. So we're gonna go with wings on the ground. And while those wings are active... Actually, if they contribute to a kill... Does that even work? Does this even work here? Or when it expires? I guess when it contributes to a kill... Throw the starfish. And then when the starfish expires... Explode at the end. And when that thing hits... Uh, I guess uh, machine gun effect. Actually, dragons. Dragons. Let's go with dragons. I do enjoy the dragons. I'm not sure if this is gonna work... Because it says when the left side organ contributes to kill. Is this gonna contribute to a kill? I mean, it says 44 1% damage modifier, but but does, does that like count? Otherwise, I could go with a cochlea. It would be the same, right? Or uh, or or while it lasts, I throw something on the ground. But the thing is, what am I gonna throw on the ground? Can I connect this for a moment? I don't think I have anything. Another buff. Wow, genius. Genius. The most genius I have ever seen. Maybe this. Nope, this doesn't also affect. I guess we're gonna go with what we had. So now we're going to just connect this here. And uh, let's try this out. We still have our decent build going on. We have 669. Nice, nice, nice amount of uh, money. So I'm going to say... We should go with a couple of brain capacity. Or crit damage, to be honest. So we're going to go with crit damage. And uh, and just flat damage. This is 20%. Let's go with even more crit damage. And you know what? 196. Let's sell some things. Honestly, let's sell this wing. We're never going to use it again. I don't need all these intestines, so we're just gonna keep the best one, which is, uh, I guess, the slow one, to be honest. This one is the best. Fastest and 125. You know what? Just throw this away. Just also throw this away. I'm gonna say, let's throw away this sword. We're never gonna use that again. So maybe also throw this. Throw uh, this. The starfish is decent. What is this? Debuff? We're not really debuffing. This is throw away. This is definitely throw. Oh, wait. You inspected a poison bag. Nope. Throw away. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're gonna throw away this mediocre one as I have a better one. Straight up. I don't really care about... Them. This is offspring and tentacle. Whatever. Let's throw this away. This is root. Wait, what? This is root? I don't think you can get a root with 525 power. Let's throw this away. Was that also offspring? Well, whatever it was, it's gone now. And uh, let's actually go... Yeah, I think I just throw away... I just threw away my offspring generator. Ah, whatever. And I'm also most likely not gonna use this either. So, it has a retina though. And let's keep it for now. Let's go for crit damage or 400 i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna throw another thing away to get base damage actually wait a minute does anything even cost 100 hp cost 100 useless base damage cost 300 uh let's do the run man let's do the run let's go so when this slashes it explodes and if that exactly so when that contributes it throws out hammer slammers which it will almost always contribute so oh i got hit by an elite that's not good explode please i mean it feels like the build is just a smidge worse just a smidge worse. I mean, it's definitely just a smidge worse. <laughs> but it does what I want to do, which is hammer slammer into a million other things. Nice, look at this. Chain reaction effects, man. Chain reaction effects. That I want, that's what is happening. I don't think the damage thing is working, though. I don't think that when it contributes to a kill part is working with this buff. I guess uh, the buff was assuming... No, it was with wings, right? Yeah, well, what's the idea of connecting wings that is a buff with when it contributes to a kill? Because I was thinking about the Schrodinger thing, but the Schrodinger thing does not really work with that. Like, it hasn't anything to do with it. 
So uh, definitely not something that is functioning here. Or at least how it's supposed to. Hammer slammer everything. Nice. Continue gaining some things. Which is money. Continue gaining money when I say some things. Continue destroying elites. The more opponents there are, the better for us. Of course, if we get more chain reactions. Here we go. Got to like a little... A nice little bit of money. Chain reaction effects continue. Slam, slam, slammer. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like, at the moment they start slammering each other, madness happens. Can I please get a nerve that connects to a limb? That's what I would like to get. A nerve that connects to a limb. So, uh, nice. And this connects retina and spine. I mean, spine is useless for this. Retina is good. This is actually good starfish. Uh, okay, whatever. And this connects to all of them because that's what they do. So monolith or turtle. I guess turtle is if I don't move. That's very mediocre. I guess monolith then. Jackal, the attack speed version. I guess we're gonna take it. This is a uh, while effects of the left side are gonna expire. On uh, on a limb. Mm, I do enjoy this. I think this is a good idea. Let's take this. Narwhal chimpanzee. Not really chimpanzee. Let's get the narwhal for the money. So I'm gonna say when this... You know what? I think I should put the starfish here. Like, seriously, where's my other, where are my other connectors? Have I thrown them all away? Or have I put them in something weak? I think I will put them in something weak. I have not seen a single dragon by that, by the way. I think this doesn't even work, so let's just disconnect all of them. So we're gonna say, when this hits, when the slash hits, crits, whatever. Let's please keep these all back. Throws out the starfish. This was the best one. So when I slash something, it throws out the starfish. And then that starfish, when it expires, no, contributes to kill. Where's my cochlea? Here it is. Oh, this doesn't connect to cochlea. Whoopsie. I guess this does, though. So when this expires... That was the best one. It does two things. This is what I wanted. Two things activation. It explodes. And it explodes. Um, and it, uh, th it throws out another starfish. And this starfish has a retina. So if that contributes to a kill... Right? We're gonna go with a limb. I'm gonna go here. What does this have, by the way? On hit. So when this on hit... I could say explodes again. Or I could say hammer slammer. So we don't need this part. Right? Yeah. So the idea is hits, starfish, explosions, hits, slammer hammers. See this? Okay. I mean... Oh, wait. Does this starfish have piercing? Pierce three? Forget that. This starfish here. We don't want piercing. We wanted to hit something and instantly explode. Yeah, this is what we want. <laughs> we want chain reactions. We don't want hitting uh, chain some other things. Uh, you know what? Let's go with brain capacity twice, I would say. One. I don't have cells. Uh, let's sell... How many cogs do I have? Let's sell limb gland offspring or tentacle. Yeah, we're gonna throw away the gland one. And now we're gonna buy another brain capacity. So I can a little bit expand more. Expand a little bit more. First brain, once again, when this expires, not only does it explode into hammer slammer, it also... Uh, I guess starfish... Retina? Retina is when contributed to starfish, retina, and then something else here, which we're missing right now, right? Something here that we could fit, but I don't really have any more room, so let's leave that as is. This part here, I guess, this really, really leaves on the ground, right? Nothing, because I still am missing all those debuffs. So I guess this fruit... Nothing, I'm missing all the debuffs, man. All these cochlea and whatnot doesn't really work. Is this expire? Yeah, when it expires, I guess... It shoots out. It explodes. I guess. I don't know. This connects to retina. This connects to nerve. Nerve is easier to, to connect with other things. That's really, really. Let's go with a, let's go with a triple machine gun, I guess. And then over here, the buff. You know, while I, while you have the buff, nothing because this doesn't connect anything. And reviews to kill is also nothing. The ground thing is also nothing. When the buff expires, okay, you're gonna throw out a starfish. Connects to retina. Yep. So, and when this starfish contributes to a kill, it uh, explodes into retina. Nope, into nerve. I, c I guess into retina. And then when this thing contributes to a kill, I guess it also explodes. Yeah, it's just a bunch of explosions chain reacting to each other, which just started with a starfish that contributes to damage. Pierce 4, projectile 5, so it's gonna definitely contribute to damage. And uh, while they are mid-air, I mean, this would be really useless. This uh, this also doesn't combo, but I guess wh wh while the starfish is made there, how long does this even last? One second. Well, this is not going to work. It's going to even say, yeah, not enough duration. Yeah, we need like chimpanzee or something. So I guess this is the build. I don't know. 
<laughs> it is it is what it is don't don't ask me really don't ask me um is uh, is this needed this is not needed so this still i'm keeping some powerful things here just in case i don't think we're gonna use normal ever and uh, i'm not still about to sure this but this puffer is definitely not gonna get used and uh, most likely this really really with intestine is not really gonna use either but i don't know let's keep it and uh, let's go with i want more money so honestly let's throw this away Let's also throw this away, I would say, like one of these two intestines. I do enjoy the slow one, so let's throw away the fast one. And with 300 coins, now we can go with base damage and off into the next fight we go. So theoretically, we should have some chain reactions going on again. Here we go. This is definitely a lot better. So uh, we're slashing opponents, and then the moment we slash them, they explode. That explosion hits them. And then because those explosions hits them, they all shoot out a bunch of starfish. And then whoever those starfish get hit by... Those also explode. Maybe some slammer hammer. I mean, I don't even know what the chain reactions are doing at this point. It's just a little bit of everything. And it works. It works. Because all of these limbs do so much more damage because of the multiple uh, damage sources we have, right? We have the buff on the ground, which it does damage. And then we also have the... Um, wait a minute. Does the buff ever expire? Do I even get the effect of the buff expiring? <laughs> I think I'm not able to get the buff expire effect. Let's run away from the buff as much as I can. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I don't think I can ever get the buff to expire. So that's bad. So yeah, as we said, just a bunch of uh, damage stacking up to each other, right? Like we got the 41% damage on the ground and then like the 50 or 40% damage from the upgrades, 30 I think. And then we also have the crit damage because we have guaranteed crits, you know, chain reaction, the chain reaction. And now we're doing like 200 damage on hit here. Now, if we're going to beat the boss or not, that is going to be seen. I'm not really sure we will be able to beat the boss, but I would like to know what happens when the time runs out. Like, do you win out of default? Oh, we found boomerangs, which, you know, boomerangs are always nice. Although I don't think the boomerangs are really going to do anything. Unless I get boomerangs on hit explode. Right? Boomerangs on hit explode. And then something, something. I need some nerves to be able to get something going on here. What does this even connect to nothing? This is the end of the path. Uh, mushrooms which connect to nerves. I would like to say yes. Chain ones, projectile summon two. Fruit of life for healing. You know what? I would even say uh, go as far as to say yes to this. I've got a swordfish and a boxer. I'm going to go boxer because it connects to limbs. So we're going to just go over here and going to say, you know what? Here, connect this one too. So we also have some healing fruit that appears, right? Because why not? And we still don't have a single debuff. <laughs> Where are the debuffs, man? Uh, I don't need this really, really. I haven't even seen this in action. Like, I, I don't think I've seen this whole part over here even do anything. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, it exists. You know what? Just put a puffer on this. Just put the puffer on this. It's the same effect. It's just gonna activate instantly, so at least it does something, right? We spawn two shields and one of those. The rest is the same. We got a starfish over here. Mid-flight, they... Nothing, because all of these are too fast. This once again, nothing. And we got a boxer here. But does this whole line of activate? I still don't believe so. We can't really do anything about it. I guess I could go with another puffer, but that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, this line does just straight up doesn't connect. It doesn't work. It, this, this whole thing doesn't function here. Could I not just put... You know, instead of having this buff, can I just put another crazy damage chain reaction into this? Right? You know what? Let, let me protect this buff for a moment. Actually, forget the protection of the buff. Let's just take something that attacks fast, this thing. It uses a limb. So we're gonna be like... Yeah, give me all these back. So we're gonna be like... Okay, this thing explodes. Right? Retina or nerve? Nerve. So when it explodes and hits anything... That thing also explodes. And if the second explosion, because the first is one explosion, the second might be 10, right? If 10 opponents are around us, then it's going to be 10 explosions. So those 10 explosions, when they contribute to damage, they're going to slash, okay? And when they contribute to damage, they're going to spawn in a thingy here with minus 100% decay. Nice. Actually, you know what? Can I just connect to retina? Nah, not really. And then these things, they when they die, they throw out boomerangs, I guess. You know what? Give me a second. I could theoretically swap this whole line with this. Right? And then we're going to be like the retina thingy. And then also the other retina thingy. We're going to say when this thing contributes to damage, it's going to throw out a slash. Right? Actually, it's going to throw out an explosion. And then with this thing does damage, it throws out the slash. So if this explosion, the first one, contributes to damage, first of all, opponents die. This now activates, by the way, that's why. Opponents die, a thing spawns, that thing throws out the boomerang, and the other explosion slashes opponents, etc. Okay, and the rest is pretty much the same. So uh, we're just gonna continue on with what we have going on. Which is just such a weird build, man. Let's go with crit damage, and uh, let's continue with run. <laughs> what a weird build. 
The spider ring, spider ring, slash, 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 slash. Everything. You see this explosion? Boom. That explosion, if that ever contributes to damage, it's gonna uh, throw out a bunch of other explosions. As far as I understand how it works, right? As far as I understand how it works. And now we're also seeing the actual, um, you know, shield having the buff. So we can, like, instantly go and pick it up. And as you saw, the moment I picked it up, I think it expired and it shot three times. Something like that seemed to be happening. I mean, I'm not even exactly sure what is chaining into what. And we got a boss. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm saying that I don't know exactly what's chaining into what. I can't go into the build and, like, read it up. But I'm just saying that, you know, specifically while we're doing the run itself, I'm not really exactly sure. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I do enjoy that these ants do actually shoot out a boomerang there at the end of their lifetime. Uh, will these things be able to die? Hey, look, the heart is inside our area, but we can't really use it. Now, there is a character that you're supposed to use that does double damage. I mean, not supposed to use that has straight up. Did I lose life? If I, oh, I do lose life if I go and try to touch the end of the line. I was under the assumption that I only... Yeah, it just, it's just a wall, but I guess it's not just a wall. So, good to know, good to know. We're gonna, of course, most likely not gonna be able to go out of there, out of here. Where are the enemies? Excuse me, but this build needs more enemies here. Because uh, it doesn't function. I mean, I guess what's happening is we're slashing the boss and the boss is just... You know, starfishing our oh nice run 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 yes I got something ah there was a red no ah whatever we lost so much 120 wow we lost so many things uh yeah it is what it is I don't care about them a wolf on damage taken I guess I can take this I guess it hits limbs and boxer we definitely take this double boxer even raven or raven with limbs and tentacle against the limbs and tentacle I mean these are the same so we're gonna just gonna take the more power rape yep red off the raven and uh. Can I now <laughs> connect Tentacle Burning Poison Mag? <laughs> I guess it has at least two connections, so... Oh! This connects to nerves? Wait a minute, I slash. Throws out this. Which connects to this. Which connects to... Could I connect to this one? Retina only. What? No, Tentacle only. I guess it could connect to this. I mean, let's just get 12 points on the brain power. 800. You know what, we're gonna need a couple of things to be sold. You're gonna get sold. Uh, will I need the... This This is almost definitely gonna get sold. This is gonna get sold no matter what. These are also gonna get sold. This is also gonna get sold. I'm gonna use the Smeed Gloglerion, or, or, or the Turtle for that matter. Uh, I do enjoy this really good. A thousand, so let's go with even more brain power. This is pretty much the last build here we're gonna make, so let's try to make it work. This is a cell. Uh, this is just an ender, so we, we don't really need enders. Um, I would like to sell... This is very slow. Yeah, this is very slow. This is most likely not going to get used for 100. How much do I need? A thousand. I got this. I don't got this. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't got this. So I don't see what we could do. You know what? I just saw this. What is this even doing here? Yeah, we can have like starfish here on the other end. So when the slash hits, there's like a chain reaction. Actually, it's it's better to go over to the other side. Right? It's just, it's just better. So I don't need to waste this boxer here. We can go over here and continue this. So when this explosion hits... Contributes to a kill. It's gonna starfish. You know, that's 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 straight up better. Over here, we're gonna go with nothing, to be honest. Actually, I have one more thing that the poison could do, which is starfish. This is such a bad thing over here that we have going, but is there something better? I mean, we can't really do anything better. It's just overall bad. I guess I could go with it shoots, it starts shooting, like the fruit starts shooting. But now let's actually see what we can do over here. Uh, this part works. I guess this part also works. Um, I guess we should do something like this. And then this. And uh, nothing. I guess this could connect somehow into a slash. Yeah, but I don't have the point. And the boomerang. I mean, this this part here down here is really mediocre. So I guess uh, let's try to connect some things if I can here. Yeah, when the, when the explosion hits... Actually, if this... So every 1 for 30, we throw out an explosion. If this contributes to a kill, we're gonna throw away the boomerang. And also we're gonna explode. And then when this hits, nothing. So we're gonna go, the slash goes here. And this throws out the boomerang. Right? And the rest, literally nothing. Can't really do anything with these. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter where we connect, what we connect. And this on hit. I could transfer this over there. Can I transfer this over here? Nope. Can I transfer this over here? Nope. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, I think pretty much the build is almost the same. <laughs> we can't really do anything that uh, really that much. I 
Yeah, I can't really see anything here that could maybe really fit. We don't have that many items, options, or whatever. Let's go with damage and let's go and end the run. So theoretically, this is gonna now do something, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, chain reactions. Isn't that what we wanted? We wanted chain reactions effect, and it is actually working, right? It, it is actually the build that we wanted, so let's continue on with this. I really hope I'm gonna be able to find the shield potion before I actually die. Please don't tell me I disabled somehow. I somehow disabled the shield potion. I didn't. Here we go, shield potion one. Let's run down to the other one. Nice, we got it. I do enjoy the slammer hammer thingies we're going on with. Like, th this was pretty much the plan, right? This was what it was supposed to be. It could have been a smidge more powerful. It could have been a smidge more combo E. But uh, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Now, of course, this boss should not really be easily beaten, as. Um, I don't know if you guys believe it, but uh, you need room for this to work. Oh, we have two of them. Yeah, maybe we're gonna make it. Maybe we're gonna make it. Because um, I need room so that opponents, I can, you know, zigzag around opponents. Oh, we, especially if I find a third one, that's really good. Yeah, as long as three elites are here next to each other, we're really helping us. Ouch. Us. We're helping us. They are helping us out with uh, getting more damage through. So I think we're gonna got this. Uh, I'm a bit more I'm a bit more eager to know if we lose if the time runs out than actually beating this But look at this man. Look at this. We're just attacking things that slam or hammer that explode that explode that chain that chain I love it. I love it This was literally what we were supposed to be able to be doing and we are actually doing it So I'm really enjoying it and honestly this whole idea with the mummy into um, potions I like shields. This is busted. Like I have been told about this a long time ago and I wasn't really sure how busted this is. Look how many shields we have. We're just super defensive. Nothing can really do anything to us. We continue with our explosion chain reaction here. Now my question is, if I want to see if the build isn't busted. Yeah, here it is actually. I wanted to see if the build isn't using the classic case of poison everybody and use all those debuffs that we use most of the times. Can you actually beat both bosses? Or is it actually not? And we did it, we did it. At the very, very last second, I was able to defeat the final boss. So the second boss, I guess, from the two. And yeah, that was a successful one, in my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed. We unlocked crit. Let's really quickly go and read what crit actually means. At least in this game, you know, for abilities. And at that point, here it is. Crit, brother, which is like precisely. Your crit strikes deal double damage, but crit chance of organs is doubled. But a non-crit damage is turned to zero. Oh, okay. I mean, you just instantly try to invest into as much crit chance as possible. So, uh, nice, nice idea. I do enjoy this as an idea. So, very nice. We will do a run with that guy too. But I think we're going to first try to continue on getting those runs with the characters that unlock other characters. So, we get everything. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like and subscribe the channel. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And um, yeah, I mean, that is it pretty much. I did get the chain reaction limb run going, which is what I wanted. And I think the next one is going to be the chain reaction tentacle one, which is going to be a million projectiles, most likely. So uh, I did enjoy the slashes and explosions. But tomorrow we're going to go with machine gun re and swirly release until uh, the sun falls or something. Do people say that? I don't even know. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.